Hello everybody, this is uh, Luciano with Alts Quality Shower Door Enclosure and uh, today we're going to show you an installation of a frameless Neo Engo shower door. So I'm going to fast forward this video. Uh, so my intention is to get some time for you to see, um, you know, all it takes to do the installation and I can give you the description on what we did and why we did it. So basically we are installing this neo angle enclosure, glass enclosure. And um, when we do the these uh, enclosures, we don't install it, we don't design it with a header system or U channel system. So basically the only thing that you can call it, I guess a frame is only a U channel that we put on this installation in particular on the left wall. Uh, other than that, everything is uh, done by clips and hinges, so there's no metal frame around anywhere. So when you do these type of installations, um, what you wanted to accomplish is stay away from metals. You know, keep in mind all the water uh, inside the shower uh, is going to be collecting uh, around the metals, all those uh, water stain and surface cam, and uh, it's it's harder to clean. Also, it looks a lot better when it's nothing in front of your, of your face, like clips or hinges and different kind of hardware. So every time that you put a piece of metal on the glass, it's a place that you have to clean because it's the one you going to hold up more uh, mineral deposits and water stain on the glass. As you see, it's an uh, old glass installation. It's uh, this uh, shower door. It has very least amount of metal, and uh, it's, it looks pretty clean, basically. Uh, so the installation is pretty much done. The only thing that is missing right now is the silicone, which we're gonna do in a moment. Uh, as you see, it's very important to check on the gaps between the door and the fixed panel. So the gaps in between them is about 116 or less by the handle of the door and the fixed panel that I'm showing you right there. And uh, on the other side, you're going to see it's a little bit bigger gap because the hinges are there and you need to rotate. It's normal to have a little gap. Uh, but in general, like um, we don't use any type of vinyls in between them to cover up spaces or seal the door. So if it is anything, everything done the right way with a very small gaps, you don't, shouldn't have any problems with water leaks uh, through the door or bigger spaces that doesn't look right. Uh, now it's pretty standard to put the plastic vinyl at the bottom. It's, it's actually a vinyl sweeper under the door. Uh, I would say all the companies in general do that. It is required so you don't have a problem for splashing on the gap under the door. Other than that, there's no more plastics on this uh, installation, there's no frames around it, and it looks very clean. So I hope you like the video, and once again, this is a Luciano with Alts Quality Shower Doors Enclosures Corporation. Just please do visit our website, it's www.altsquality.com. So don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.